Decoding GMAT and GRE essay prompts. Hello everyone. Today, we're diving deep into the world of GMAT and GRE essay prompts. Whether you're aiming for business school or a graduate program, mastering these essay prompts is crucial for a stellar score. Understanding the different types of essay prompts can help you craft compelling and impressive responses. Let's get started. GMAT and GRE essay prompts are questions or statements given to test takers to gauge their analytical writing skills. They are designed to evaluate your ability to articulate and support complex ideas, analyze an argument, and sustain a focused and coherent discussion. These prompts don't require specific content knowledge, but rather the ability to think critically and write effectively. For the GMAT, there's primarily one type of essay prompt. Analysis of an argument. Here, you'll be presented with an argument and are asked to evaluate it. Your task isn't to agree or disagree, but to critique the logic behind the argument. Points to consider. Assumptions made by the author. Evidences supporting the argument. Flaws or gaps in the reasoning. The GRE has two main types of essay prompts. 1. Analyze an issue. This prompt presents a statement on a general issue and asks you to address the topic from any perspective you choose. Consider taking a stance, agree, disagree, or anything in between. Providing evidence. Use examples to support your view. 2. Analyze an argument. Similar to the GMAT's prompt, but you might find the topics broader in scope. Your role is to evaluate the logic and reasoning behind the argument, rather than giving personal opinions. 1. Brainstorm. Before you begin writing, jot down a few key points or ideas. 2. Structure is key. Always have a clear introduction, body, and conclusion. 3. Proofread. Ensure your essay is free from grammatical errors and is coherent. 4. Practice. Familiarize yourself with different types of prompts and write sample essays to get the hang of it. And that's a wrap on GMAT and GRE essay prompts. Remember, understanding the prompt is half the battle. With structured thinking and regular practice, you'll be well on your way to acing this section. We hope this overview has been beneficial. Until next time, happy studying and best of luck with your test preparation.